Steve Buckley, it's a pleasure to talk to you here at the London Marathon and very nice to have bumped into you so we can have a chat. Um, you've told me you're not planning on running a marathon though. No, no, it's not the reason I'm here. I haven't come to pick up my number. I'm just being nosy. I've come to have a look around the, uh, the trade show here and uh, you know, it's always a, 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 you know, keen to sort of see what's going on in the sports world. Um, a lot of nervous people about getting ready for the weekend. It's, it's a good atmosphere. Does it bring back any memories? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess it does in some ways. You know, getting getting ready for, for competition was kind of, I suppose that was what I was good at in a lot of ways, you know, that big day. Uh, I'm always fascinated by that. You know, you can be good every day of the week. It's only race day that counts. And that, that, there's, you find out a lot about yourself, don't you? In your mind frame. Yeah, you certainly do. What, what advice would you give to runners out there? Is there a sort of countdown now, three days to go? Well, first of all, don't listen to a javelin thrower because they haven't got a clue what they're talking about when it comes to running marathon. But on, in a general sense, of course, it's about having a plan and executing the plan. It's really easy in competitive sport. I've got to broaden this out because people are going, why is a javelin thrower? You know? So the, the key when you're under pressure, you do make strange decisions. We all do it. Um, so I think one of the, and it's overused as an as a almost um, stereotypical answer, but have the plan and execute your plan and don't be kind of you know take, taken into somebody else's world in the first stages uh, as my dad ran marathons he always used to say you know everyone goes off too quick everyone goes off too quick because it's the natural thing you know you've got the adrenaline flowing it's a new maybe if it's your first marathon it's something you know your your eyes are wide and you're just you know taking it all in and of course you feel brilliant because you're full of adrenaline that doesn't last for three hours four hours five hours depending on what you're doing and uh, yeah that's that's the bit i miss in, in, in sport and it's it's a uh, more of an art than a science but keep believing and executing your own plan is my simple advice you really do talk a good game are you really sure you don't want to ever run a marathon no i know you you did say that no you look perfect shape for a marathon okay maybe <laughs> you did say you had a, a serious hip operation about five years ago but would you have ever thought about doing one even if it was to run for charity absolutely Oh no, look, I, I started out as a runner. I used to run cross countries as a kid, middle distance on the track in the summer, um, and I enjoy running as a, as a form of exercise nowadays. I run most days actually, you, you know, you might be surprised to, to hear. Um, but I enjoy it. You know, a marathon's a long way though. It is a long way, especially, you know, I'm 17 stone. It's a lot in your knees and your ankles. It's quite a lot to carry around 26 miles, isn't it? It's a lot to carry around 10k, trust me. So, um, yeah, I, I, I would have loved to. I, I love the whole, I mean, I've been to the, the start of the race. I ran, you know, along the embankment in the little short race, the, the, whatever it's called. I've been at the finish. I've, I've soaked in the atmosphere and it does get you. It really does get you as a, someone who's never done it. But of course, have competed and understand the principle. There's something special about the London Marathon that just gets in your veins. And I would love to do it for that reason. But it's not going to happen. OK, we'll forget that one then. Um, you're here um, to, to have a look around, as you said, and have a look at other products. You are working on something yourself with your partner, aren't you? And that's to do with like injury prevention or to help with injuries. And it's, it's a tech tape, so to speak. Yeah, we, we set up recently uh, sport tape, selling um, sport tape. I mean, you know, there's nothing complicated in that. But an old sporting colleague in Craig Dowd, uh, the New Zealand All Black, one of the legends of, of New Zealand rugby, strangely, I mean, nothing to do with this world, but he uh, designed a tape, we imported it to the UK, and we sell it primarily in rugby, we started out in rugby, and we're branching out into other sports, so yeah, it's good fun, it's great to be involved back in the sports world, um, and, and to be around sports people, it's, it's uh, something I want to do forever more. And the tape itself is quite interesting, especially here at a running show where, you know, we know that like so many rough runners do suffer with injuries. What do you think is like the, the injury that's probably most common that the tape could help with? Well, clearly, I mean, f first of all, on that point, you know, 50% of athletes will carry a needle at any given time. I mean, you know. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> I mean, we, we've all been there. Um, and, and the tape... I, I know I, I'm very careful. I don't. I never claim as a cure-all, and it's going to do you know wonderful things. I don't. I hate the big sales pitch. However, one thing is the kinesiology tape, the elastic tape, this colourful tape that we've seen, you know, on athletes from around the world uh, in big competitions. We sort of see it and think, oh, what is it? The one thing I always say is it won't do any harm. And and I think of all the advice you get in sport and and, and whatever decisions you make and whatever you do and whatever shoes you put on, there's very few things 
that can be wrong. And, and the one th wonderful thing with elasticated tape is it won't do any harm. So that's a really good starting point. Now, of course, what it can do is uh, it, it can help uh, the lymph, it can help um, to, to pull um, you know, all, the, all the bad stuff away in terms of stimulating joints, it can support, it can change your proprioception, you know, your awareness of your joints. There's, there's um, you know, all sorts of claims around kinesiology tape. All I'd say is have a try it because if there's a soft tissue injury, typically, it can, it can be used to help. Um, it's not a cure necessarily. But it can help people as a crutch through the recovery. It kind of keeps you on the road. It might, if it keeps you on the road, you're laughing. So it could be for anything from, you know, calf strains, hamstring quads, um, you know, all sorts of fascia-based industries, um, uh, injuries, I should say, and uh, you know, plantar fasciitis. There's all sorts of different complex taping patterns that are claimed to be the answer to it. So it, get, it can get quite complex. But I always say just give it a try. If it works, go with it. Absolutely. Steve Backley, Olympic silver medalist. It has been a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure's all mine. Thank you very much. Thank you.